Welcome back to The Morning Show here on Arise News with me, Katira King. My first guest, Femi Oye, is a man who wears many green hats and is disrupting conventional thinking around carbon trading and climate change in Africa. As the CEO of Green Energy and Biofuels, co-founder of SME Funds and chief architect of GoTolo Africa, Femi is the leader of Africa's foremost clean energy technology. He launched the first carbon trading platform for domestic emission offset exchange that gives low-income households, businesses, schools, nonprofits, and governments access to clean energy. His belief is that the climate change problem is good business, and rightly so too considering he works for organizations such as the UN Global Compact, United Nations Foundation, African Development Bank, IFC, and the Global Environmental Facility, amongst several others. He's an alumni of Santa Clara University Miller Center and Stanford University Graduate Business School. And now he's here. Welcome to the show, Mr. Oye. Amazing. Thank you. Good morning. <laughs> Good morning. How are you? I'm great. Fantastic. Now you are leading the conversation as it pertains to renewable energy. Oh. Talk to me about where this passion came from. Um, for, for instance, there can be a word that is moving forward and we just have to be looking backward. Um, as a little child, I've learned to experiment, to try out, to actually debate a lot. So it right. has always been this restlessness. So growing up as well, so I have to find my own passion within just creating things. So I right. think is a combination of so much and understanding the context of Africa, where yeah. we grew up from, where we developed from then around us, what can we do to actually make the world get better? Absolutely. Now we actually have a little video of you that is a little bit shocking. Let's take a look. Mm. We cook for life. We cook to be alive. But unfortunately, in Africa, in Nigeria, more than 50% of the women, they cook to die. Wow, that is, I mean, tell me, tell me about the message for those of the viewers that didn't quite catch that. Yeah, um, we have over 50 to 70% of our women dying every year as a result of what could be prevented. So we call this indoor hair pollution. So from the time a woman wakes up to preparing water to bath the kids, mm -hmm. preparing meal for the entire family, before she embarks on that yesterday night, she has to travel miles, mm -hmm. search of firewood. So kerosene kills everywhere, not even available. Yeah. So we have this challenge of women having to be at the cross, at the center of energy poverty in Africa. So that was exactly my own story growing right. up as well with my grandmother. Mm -hmm. So I've always been telling these stories of what is possible, what we can actually do something about, and what we can change. Yeah. And in doing that, solving this problem, because it's the same problem that more than 50% of our people live with every day. So who is there to do something about mm -hmm. it by changing this norm? changing what we've accepted as problems as and standard. challenges yeah. into what can actually be an economic opportunity as well. Wow. Because when we solve this energy crisis, when we help a woman to be able to cook with clean fuel, mm. when we solve the electricity crisis, you're actually smiling to the bank as well, and you can True. create a whole lot of jobs. So Absolutely. back to back is an opportunity, but somebody just have to respond to that. Absolutely. So it seems as though you've answered this call, this response call, if you will, call to action. What are you doing to end this hazard? Good. Um, when I was nine and that situation happened, I have to think deeply. I have to look at what would happen in the next, because deforestation in Nigeria alone is growing at the rate of 3.7%. Wow. So put that And is that due to years, urbanization? 
deforestation. Is that is that due to the fact that we're trying to build more cities? And, Not you know, just because we're building more city. If it's about the city, because this is the indices that is being captured globally, mm -hmm. but unfortunately there are silent indices that is not even in the radar, it's right. off radar. That's when you have to see how the rate at which we are cutting down trees yeah. to cook, we are cutting down trees to create alternative energy mm. that is not even being accounted for mm. when we are talking about growth, development, mm -hmm. or the economy. So it's not being looked at at all. So we used to have the rice pyramid, the corn pyramid, the maize pyramid yep. in the north those days. But today, what we have is charcoal pyramid. So mm -hmm. you need to go to the north and see how much charcoal is being produced, also exported. And these are woods, these are our forests that have actually been depleted every day. So wow. it's a new great economy in that space today. And we are talking about climate change global warming, we are talking about the impact of burning wood mm -hmm. to our health. Mm -hmm. We are also talking about what kind of city do we want to live in tomorrow yeah. when we when all these green, all these uh, forests, all these trees, they are all gone. Mm -hmm. And that's exactly what we are going through today. When we're talking about this hurricane, we're talking about flooding, mm. we're talking about different changes in our environment. So just to move us back, Back on track. <laughs> we were talking about what you are personally doing to end this hazard. So tell me about that. Now, um, in stopping this problem, um, we don't need to travel to Europe or we need to go to India or we need to go to the US. I think the solution is right here with us. Okay. By actually looking inward at those made in African solutions to what we have called made in African problem that we've wow. created. So one example way that I've done, I mean, that I've gone by this is to look at the massive waste that we have all around us. Can I create a new kind of energy that mm -hmm. is safe, that is clean, that is environmentally friendly? Mm -hmm. And that was the reason why I created the company Green Energy Biofuels that literally takes the water high sent from water we the sawdust heaps of this that we burn that constitute smoke and hazard to our environment. We just put in a little bio process technology mm -hmm. to converting this. So you're converting into sawdust into renewable energy? Absolutely. That's what wow. we've been doing for the past seven years. So we wow. convert this to ethanol as cooking fuel and this displaces charcoal, it displaces firewood. It displaces kerosene that is dangerous, that is hazardous. Wow. So that's a simple way that's by amazing. which we can actually change the narrative. And the other side, solar, is massively before we move on to solar, coming down now. Before we move on to solar, that's another energy don't you crisis. worry, I'll mm -hmm. give you your time. Your time in the sun is coming. But before we move on to solar, we are focusing on these safe ways to cook in the kitchen. And I mean, we cook every Thursday here on the morning show. Okay, so good. it's very interesting to note that there are alternative w ways to use to cook in indoor spaces that are cleaner and safer to your health. Now, we could not bring a demonstration here, unfortunately, but we do have a demo, a video of you demonstrating how it's Great. used. So let's watch that. So it's a simple technology that is not explosive. It doesn't spill. And um, it uses these no simple stoves that could be produced locally. And when we talked about technology transfer, local communities can begin to have the gain of what um, clean technology and clean energy can do. So you can see it's non-toxic. So the gel of this size can produce a meal for a family of five for a week. And um, the cost is less than $3 when you look at how much dirty fuel costs. So that is clean energy in demonstration. With this, you don't have any smoke, you don't have any soot. It is very safe to handle. Even when it's tipped over, it doesn't spill, but the meal is being cooked. This is a demonstration of what clean energy is. And for you to put up the fire, all you have to do it's just to slide this lid and it goes up. Wow. Amazing, right? I mean, I kind of want one. That is, that is <laughs> African 
technology. I love it. Such innovation. Tell me, so we saw a green liquid there in your hand over the, the, the cooking uh, instruments. Now, it's biofuel gel. Good. What is it made of? Good. So um, biofuel is one of the, um, the component or the breakdown process of converting uh, sugar into another class of liquid. So this liquid is the ethanol or alcohol. So this alcohol is the same one that you take in your beers and all that for pharmaceutical use. Right. And all that. So what we've done when I went back to school in Sweden then was actually to look at the possibility of using this same liquid into a cooking fuel because mm. to some others they could use alcohol like we have E10, E20 in uh -huh. the US in developed countries where you have the blending, mix it with petrol to run your auto right. for your car. But in Africa, we have the problem with energy. So the low hanging fruit there is ethanol for cooking. So right. we took the liquid ethanol by using a bioprocess. I actually got the patent for that, actually. Oh, that process you of just convert, got. Yes, <laughs> converting that into another form of energy. So you take it from liquid state into a jelly state. So the Amazing. reason why we've converted that into jelly pasty mm -hmm. is to enhance its uh, portability. Of you course, want to for ease of transportation. And, and yeah. all of that. And it doesn't spill, it doesn't splatter. That's amazing because um, I can imagine for a woman who flame. cooks in the village, exactly. you know, who is experiencing issues with transportation, perhaps doesn't have a car, has mm -hmm. to carry the kerosene for long, you know, journeys, and it's not safe. You know, minus the fact that if you inhale it, it's hazardous to your health. It's simply unsafe to have anywhere around your body. So to have you being able to put this in a gel-like, you know, consistency that is also non-harmful to your health, yeah. it's fantastic. Yeah, that does it. And uh, when you look at the impact of liquid fuel like kerosene in the mm -hmm. past, so we've had in Korodu and in some part of Nigeria where you have a whole house raised down, yeah. explosion. Even when you talk about the cooking gas, the LPG. So um, the remote, the poor people, they don't have this consciousness, the awareness on how to handle all of this. So mm -hmm. those are the uh, components that we've considered in building our business model, whereby we can make it portable, we can make it very safe, convenient. It's actually an indoor cooking fuel. Mm -hmm. So yesterday you see women having to fetch firewood and they cook outside because of the smoke. You have the black yeah. walls everywhere. So yeah. this day, so we are making it more dignifying for women to actually have their pride in the, it's not everything you cook that everyone, your neighbor should Must get to know. know. <laughs> so that's what we have done there I by like making that, that energy. And of course, one other good feature with bioethanol gel is such that it doesn't heat up the environment. Ah. So the heat is actually concentrated on your pot. So Fantastic. you can be cooking in the same room where you have five people living. So that's how safe this could be. And of wow. course, the kind of fragrance that come out of that green gel you saw is it nice? kills mosquito, takes care what? of all your rodents. No, you're lying. Amazing. Wait, I'm sorry. All Let's just make sure that we repeat well that once again. Yeah. The biofuel gel, when you burn it, aside from being safe to your health, also can eradicate your environment of mosquitoes? Absolutely. I'm buying because it. it has buy it? all these. Yes, Where you're my first, you're, you're my next customer, I'm right? I'm buying it. I'm buying the whole <laughs> everything you've got. <laughs> now, my reaction is, mm -hmm. I mean, I'm beaming over this because it's so. I've never heard of anything this amazing before. What has the government's reaction been like to you? Because we see pictures online of you with the president of the AFDB, with President Buhari. What has their response been like to this amazing innovation that you've created? Yeah, I think the the. Um, Quote that I always like to say is, um, it is what we do that actually validate the whole essence of our being. So it is who you have become in the process that is more important yeah. than who you have actually become. So that process is very key. So what we've done also is because there is no word on its own. So we work and we partner with government, both states, local with the national government, mm -hmm. like in Nigeria, as you've seen. So we've been on a crusade and a campaign and so many international conferences and uh, speaking engagement that yeah. we've had over the years 
and also transporting this, transferring this technology to at least we're in about four other African countries today wow. where we export these products to. So we're working with their government. So Nigerian government, it's um, more responsive today, more yeah. than what we used to have because I understand the um, COP21, that's okay. the one in Paris. Right. I think Nigeria already signed and validated also the INDC that has become our NDC today. Fantastic. And biofuel, renewable energy, is a very strong component. So you of effectively that already held them accountable. Signed. Exactly. Amazing. So for a social organization as I, as I, so what we've done also is to align our work with the developmental goal for our country. Because when you want to measure how much poverty we've reduced and all of that, I think those are the components that we need to look at. So the Biofuel program is also the federal government program. It's also the state government program. Absolutely. Like Delta state and now, speaking of federal states. governments, you have, we, we said it before, that you've been quoted as saying that climate change is good business. Absolutely. And another person that thinks like that is the president of the United States of America, President Donald Trump. Well, so what do you say to people like him that say climate change is a scam, it's fake, it doesn't exist? You know, you've also said that it's good business, if anything, whereas the rest of the world thinks it's quite mm -hmm. devastating mm -hmm. to our existence. What do you say to people that think along these lines? Yeah, rather than saying disappointing, it's not disappointing to me because um, you only talk and validate what you understand. Mm -hmm. So we are in a new age today. So we have called that age the age of awareness, the age of consciousness. So it's not just the age of the 21st century that we need to talk on or the industrial age anymore. Mm -hmm. So things have actually moved. Unfortunately, we still have people living in the past. I'm not saying Donald Trump or President Donald Trump <laughs> is living in the past. However, it's If you're evident. watching, he said it, not me. I didn't <laughs> say that. So the world is already moved away. That's mm -hmm. why I started this talk this morning that we can't be saying we are moving forward mm -hmm. by looking backwards. Well, you're so, being very diplomatic in your answer. I want a straightforward answer okay. as to why it is acceptable for a man who works to curb climate change okay. to say that climate change is good business. Yeah, climate change is good business. Look at my story. Um, it's only in Nigeria that my story is possible. It's simply because we have climate change crisis. That's why I've got a business that I'm running today. Mm. It's only because- So you're feeding off the rest of our misery. There is climate change and there is energy poverty. That's why we have empowered over 37,000 women mm -hmm. in Nigeria. It's only because we have energy crisis. Women cook from firewood mm -hmm. with the pollution that you inhale and all manner of challenges that is associated with climate change. That's the reason why we've empowered over 6 million people in Nigeria okay, with our I, cooking gel. I like, so I like those I facts. So if I tell you I'll, climate I'll change is live. good business, <laughs> I don't think it's a mistake. So it's good business. So if you take it that way. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, I'm going to see you later on in the show because I feel like we need to fight. <laughs> Are you ready for I'm you? very, I'm a strong, staunch advocate for climate change. I really, I don't, I don't like what it's doing to the environment. I'm a huge environmentalist. I love what you're doing with the biofuel gel. Thank you. But that comments about climate change being good business, it's I don't know about that, Mr. Oye. <laughs> you get to know more about it. Absolutely. When you put it side by side with the economics. So before now, you organize conferences, we organize shows, and we just do the rallies and campaigns. But, but today, for those of our, for young those of people our can get viewers involved. that want to get involved in these rallies and campaigns that you might be throwing, tell us how they can do that via social media. How can they get in touch with your company? Yeah, I think we have a uh, social handle, I mean, Twitter, Facebook handle. So you've got CCN underscore SME, SME fund, fund for exactly. Instagram. Yeah. Okay. I mean, uh, SME fund with S actually. Yes. Fantastic. For SME Facebook. Fund with S, for Facebook. So when you join us there, I think we are mobilizing already to COP23 in Bonn this year. And we have a whole lot going on around the world and in Nigeria that we organize every week every month. All so right. when you join us on our Twitter handle or on our Facebook, then you get to know more about our upcoming event. On our Amazing. Twitter. Thank you so much, Mr. Oye. Thank you for having me. Time now for a short break on the morning show, but when we return, I'll be speaking with Mazi Okunu about the cleanest dirty word you've ever heard. Recycling. Don't go away.